What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. You guys see the title, Sergey Crusher Kovalev. He posts this on his social media, throwing a jab at Adonis Stevenson, definitely to taunt him. As you guys know, Adonis Stevenson, his nickname is Superman. And if you are a comic book fan, a DC comic book fan, you know Superman's his um, only weakness is kryptonite. So obviously you see him pulling open his chest, exposing the kryptonite, weakening Superman. Now, I thought this was funny, so I had to share it. And it gives me the opportunity to talk about this particular fight. Now, I don't really see why people don't like Kovalev or... I don't know. I, I put people on Kovalev for a while. I think he's underrated with his boxing ability. He showed you that. That's why I picked him to beat Bernard Hopkins. Um, I think Bernard Hopkins is a hell of a fighter. Definitely one of my favorites. But you can't defeat Father Time. Father Time is still undefeated. And Bernard Hopkins, he has the ability at this level with wisdom and just his knowledge on the game to beat certain fighters, the Shumanovs, the um, Cairo, Murat, people like that. But Kovalev is a different animal because he, he mixes in his vicious power. He has a mean streak. He has some boxing ability, and he gives you an uncomfortable pressure. And that's what we've seen in the shutout that he pitched versus Bernard Hopkins. But shout out to both. But what I really like about Kovalev is he's staying active, and he's, he's doing what a true champion does. And, and that's seeking and, and going out of your way to prove that you are the best. And by going out of your way, I mean, you look at some fighters, like I'm from the Bay, Andre Ward is um, definitely a guy that I, I like and respect. But if you look at Andre Ward, historically, he's fought a lot of his fights in California. Now, the Super 6 tournament is where he garnered a lot of attention. That was in New Jersey, if I'm not mistaken, so a little bit different. But a lot of his title fights are in California, where he's from the Bay Area, California, um, or at home in Oakland. And there's nothing wrong with that. Floyd Mayweather does that, but I think Floyd Mayweather's been probably seasoned in the game a little bit more, so he fights in his second home of Las Vegas. But with Kovalev, he's still not that superstar like a Floyd Mayweather, Miguel Cotto, Pacquiao type. So he goes to his opponent's backyard. He did it for Cleverly. He did it for Jean Pascal last fight. He's the champion, yet he's traveling like the challenger. And you... It, I, I give anybody props. Amir Khan did it versus Lamont Peterson. Amir Khan was the champion stepping in, and due to a controversial decision, he lost. But he went to D.C., where Peterson is from, to fight him. That shows cojones. That shows balls. That shows, like, you got something there, like, where you want to prove something. You know what I mean? Usually, you see guys like Martin Murray go into Argentina to face Sergio Martinez. You don't see Sergio Martinez, the champion, necessarily having to fight in the other person like you know what I mean? he didn't fight martin murray in the uk he fought in his hometown and that's how it goes a lot of times but with kovalev he went to jean pascal's second home of canada and did work so i, I really appreciate that as far as the donna stevenson i'm not even going to get into it if you want more just check out my channel i pretty much gave you predictions i believe kovalev would win that fight but i still want to see it because the donna stevenson has power and He's a good boxer, but he's primarily a one-handed fighter, in my opinion. And he's very left-hand dominant. But anytime you have power, one punch can change anything. And we've seen Kovalev getting clipped by some Jean Pascal shots. So even though I have my take on who would win, I still want to see it. I just thought it was funny that Kovalev was sending this jab. This is a fight that absolutely needs to happen. I have some connections at main events. So if this fight is made, I could definitely um, get into Kovalev's camp and get you guys some footage or whatnot so hopefully we do get adonis stevenson versus kovalev i mean it, it's a must at light heavyweight prove who's the best and then hopefully we get guys like andre ward who feel the need to move up to light heavyweight handle your business at super middleweight get your feet back wet with rock nation and get more active and then move up like adonis stevenson did adonis stevenson came from 168 if you guys remember so i think the light heavyweight division has the potential to be very interesting. Jean Pascal showed a lot of heart, so I'll definitely watch his next fight. Bernard Hopkins, he's pretty much hinted that he's not done. He's not ready to retire yet. Andre Ward, if he decides to come up there. I mean, there's some good fights that could be made. So Kovalev, Adonis Stevenson is the fight that needs to happen because it'll prove the light heavyweight supremacy. Who is the best? Adonis 
Stevenson has more titles and more belts that say he's the best, but Kovalev is the one that's looking like a beast, and he's, in his last couple fights, I think he's proven a bit more title or no title. Drop me a comment, let me know what you guys think. Who wins, Kovalev versus Adonis Stevenson? Can Adonis Stevenson knock out Kovalev, outbox him? Can he stay out of trouble? What did you see in Kovalev's last fight, his vulnerabilities, his weaknesses? Drop me some comments, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego, signing off. Mm -hmm.